Hey everybody, it's about 10 to 7 in the morning on Friday. We're heading over to Volusia County Fairgrounds this morning. Uh, they're doing, in addition to regular coronavirus testing, they're doing coronavirus antibody testing. Uh, and for those that don't know the difference, coronavirus testing is for folks that uh, potentially have coronavirus now. Antibody testing is for those to see if uh, you have the antibodies, uh, meaning you've already had coronavirus. You may be asymptomatic. Uh, in the past and not exhibited any um, attributes of having coronavirus um, to date um, but having antibodies is uh, widely assumed but not confirmed uh, that if you possess the antibody you may uh, or you've had coronavirus you may not be able to have it again although there have been many uh, cases that have been exhibited across the world at this point where uh, that's been proven to possibly be untrue, that you could potentially have uh, coronavirus more than once. But that said, uh, it's believed that getting the virus more than one time is uh, less probable. There's reasons to get the antibody test. One is that if you know that you uh, have positive antibodies and you can donate plasma, that plasma is very much needed um, for folks that are trying to fight the virus uh, within uh, the healthcare community, especially within uh, inpatient hospital settings. For us, I think it also gives us a little bit more comfort where maybe um, we might be able to venture out of the house a little bit more. I know places are starting to reopen and there's that grave concern that if we go out, um, we either could get sick um, or we potentially could infect other folks if we are uh, asymptomatic also, um, as well as having uh, multiple elderly relatives between Mary and myself. So we're gonna go see about getting in line and see if we can get the test. So it's 10 after seven. The testing facility is open at 8.30. There's three cars in line in front of us already in the general area for uh, antibody testing. First responders do get priority, so they get a separate entrance to get in, um, and there's nobody waiting for first responders, at least at this point. So at eight o'clock, the cops came, and they've started to let the cars flow in here. So there's four cars in front of us at the time that we got here, and now that we've made a turn, you can see all the cars that came after us just seems to just keep on going here so it looks like there's about 25 cars or so behind us at this point um, the test is free if you don't have insurance if you have insurance I believe it runs $50 okay so we wrapped um, on the inside I took one picture before we went to uh, have our insurance cards processed the site um, we went very quick. We were in and out. It's 8.36 right now. It was supposed to open at 8.30, I believe, and they opened up at 8. So it took less than a half an hour for everything to be processed, um, or at least for them to draw your blood. So they ask for your driver's license. They ask for your um, home information, your phone number, um, and then uh, they uh, ask for your insurance card. And then you move on to the next station where they explain to you that you're getting an antibody test. They ask you pre-screen questions if you know that you've been exposed to somebody that has coronavirus. Um, and then uh, if you have any of the symptoms yourself, um, and then move on to another processing station where they register you or finish your, your registration. And I think it's within uh, LabCorp's system. So it's you know, third-party testing that, that's facilitating things and you move to the blood draw. Um, they don't tell you on site whether you are uh, COVID positive or that you've had it in the past, um, but they do tell you that it would take between one uh, to five days to get your results back. They are running right now at a one day turnaround time. So the guy that I had spoken to that was a manager uh, explained that uh, they've had less turnout after the first week. The first week they were maxing at 500 to 800 people a day and they would reach their maximum capacity um, to the point of now, after the first couple of hours, it's it's very dead. So as a result of the lower turnout, we can get results a little bit quicker. So hopefully we'll know. And they do give you the, the jargon or speech of, you know, if you are, if you test positive for antibodies, 
you are likely to be immune from coronavirus. At least that is the speech that they give you now. Although I don't think that that's a proven fact in the medical community at this point. We'll know uh, shortly, hopefully in a day or so, uh, what the results are. Hey, well, it's a couple of days later, and by a couple, I mean it's actually Monday afternoon at this point. Uh, but wanted to tie back to getting results. Mary got her results on Saturday. I got mine today, and I'll explain the difference um, in timing there. Uh, where we had gone to, they send the antibody tests off to your lab of preference. So in America, at least, um, the labs that we primarily would use would be LabCorp or Quest Diagnostics. Um, they asked Mary where did she want to send her results to or have the, her uh, test process by, and she selected LabCorp. Um, I wasn't given a choice, so I ended up uh, registering for both LabCorp and Quest to see uh, just in case either site uh, would notify me when results came in through and my results ended up coming in today I was assigned to Quest Labs so um, obviously LabCorp turning around test results a little bit quicker than um, Quest Diagnostics and it's kind of interesting because over the weekend there was an incident with um, one of our local hospitals that uh, or the, the big hospital uh, in Florida um, doing regular COVID tests not the antibody tests and their third-party lab not turning results back quick enough um, and, and such uh, as a result uh, the res regular COVID tests uh, timed out for effectiveness so the reliability of the results uh, was not there for some of their results but in any event for Mary and myself uh, the results were both negative so that means that neither of us uh, have the antibody for COVID. It means that we were not asymptomatic. We didn't carry it around. Uh, we wouldn't have infected anybody knowingly um, during unknowingly during that time. Um, so and it also means that we're still at great risk. And like I talked about at the beginning of the video when we went through uh, that the antibody test, they kind of explained at that point that if you have the antibody, you're likely to be immune from COVID and something came out today which kind of coincided with stuff that I had posted on social media probably about two months ago where uh, we started to see other countries where folks had uh, contracted COVID um, and then uh, in turn contracted it again uh, after they got better um, and the thought at that time was like you know some of the results may have been dismissible because it was uh, cases that were found in Korea or some other countries overseas um, but in the news this morning, um, the ship, the naval ship in America, U.S. Navy, um, I believe it's the USS uh, Theodore Roosevelt that uh, was in question probably about a month or so ago in the news, at least headlines in, in the, the states here, around uh, the fact that uh, the captain had acknowledged that, uh, or the commanding officer had acknowledged that, um, they had multiple people on the ship and they were heading towards a disaster with as many folks or sailors that were um, contracting COVID at the time and they needed help and he was since um, replaced of his command of the ship. Um, in any event, 13 of the sailors that had contracted COVID um, in the past, um, previously when the ship went through their infection period, um, got better and now they've recontracted COVID again. So it kind of puts the theory of immunity, if you have that antibody, at question at this point. I'm not saying that it's totally irrelevant, um, but it is very questionable as to, you know, if you've, re if you've already had COVID, if you would have it multiple times, which is something that is, um, I think, of big concern, especially to, to me when you're looking at things objectively in the news. Um, as the states reopen and in Florida things did reopen more today so as uh, of Friday um, they our governor DeSantis um, extended the percentage of uh, um, people that can go to restaurants um, or s stores as well so restaurants it's at 50% capacity at this point uh, stores are 50% capacity also um, gyms opened up this morning as well and I see like there's other places that have opened up like Top Golf and um, Madame Tassad's and um, some Sea Life and, and stuff like that um, have opened up as well so you can see more and more attractions opening up. Concern is that in Florida the case 
uh, count over the last couple of days, seemingly increasing a little bit over the weekend and um, you know through yesterday. So um, we'll obviously be watching that a lot. City Walk opened up last week. Um, limited and uh, Disney Springs opening up this week, also limited, but then opening more stores uh, the following week. So interesting times that we're we're opening up things and we're either remaining flat or you know semi going up at this point. So. Um, very, I think, from my perspective, concerning because, you know, quite honestly, just like everybody else that's out there, very, very bored um, at this point of being home and uh, not necessarily interacting. I haven't seen any of my family or friends at this point in two months, um, you know, and, and would love to get some other social interaction, just like I think most of you, although seeing more and more people that are uh, going out and uh, you know, ignoring the, the stay at home or social distancing things and stuff and um, very concerning to me. Um, I know there's a whole debate out there about masks and no masks and it, to me, uh, and this is only my opinion, so you guys can be angry or not, I don't see any reason why I wouldn't want to wear a mask as a, a citizen or the right thing to do. Um, I realize that folks, it, it's not the same thing as an N95 mask or a respirator and you're stopping things surgically from spreading, but uh, any amount of distance or, or protection or barrier that you're putting up from my own per, per perspective of not um, giving the ability for me to spit out um, as I'm speaking to somebody else or breathing on somebody else, I'm doing my part to help not get others sick, not necessarily to worry about the, the barrier for me, And I would, but I would hope that other folks would have the same respect for me as I do for them in trying not to get them sick. Uh, but it doesn't definitely does not seem that way. So Disney reopening Disney Springs, as well as Universal City Walk opening and requiring masks. And there's a ton of people out there saying they can't do the masks in the heat, and they, they they're ineffective. And the Surgeon General says they're ineffective. And there's different timelines of when things were said from the Surgeon General back from February that are being quoted when they've updated their stance on things now. Um, but we've really progressed to everything becoming a political issue, especially in this country, and it's very disheartening that um, safety or, or well-being of individuals is looked at as a political argument. You know, if you want to wear a mask, then you're uh, an, an idiot, uh, you know, or there is a case even today on Inside the Magic, I looked at their Facebook feed and, and folks were calling Disney Nazis for asking people to wear masks and I'm not quite sure that they understand what a Nazi actually is that they would uh, bring it to the point of, of saying that a, a private uh, company is requesting that you look out for the safety of others so it, it's I'm not sure where we've gone as a society that we've reached to that level but in any event our tests are negative if you guys are interested in doing the test, I would recommend it. If you're, especially if you're looking to go out and uh, you are um, scared, I think there's a lot of people that are scared uh, of going out and uh, potentially getting sick. At least, maybe your chances are lowered by getting the antibody test. I think the jury is out, although that is what the medical community is uh, recommending at this point. So, in any event, that's the story. Uh, we may be a little bit more delayed in posting videos uh, going forward, I think, at this point, because we're simply out of content. There's only so much talking that you guys are going to deal with and so much talking that I, I feel inspired to do at some point. So um, at some point, we'll get back to more of a regular schedule. But in the interim, thanks very much for even listening to me now and, and for all the listening over the last two months. Very much appreciated. So thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. We'll see you guys.